Um, if I'm talking a little bit quieter, it's because late at night, it's a school night, and it's going up late as fuck. And yeah, I'm probably gonna struggle waking up tomorrow, and then as I'm brushing my teeth, but yeah, I'm gonna have to be leaving. I'm gonna, I'm gonna miss my train or some shit. But this is last year, like you know, my bus. You know, as I'm brushing my teeth, my dad will be like, "Bye." I was like, "Where you?" Because we usually take the same train. Because we commute together. He goes to where he works, and I go to my school. All right, you guys don't give a fuck. So this is about Bethesda. So what they should have done with Fallout 76? What they should have done? <clears throat> so what I'm gonna be talking about in this is um what I think they should have done instead of Fallout 76 or with the West Vir using West Virginia, however. Welcome to M7 Electric Multiple Unit in Long so, Island Railroad livery. Let's get. Let's get this off the bat. I don't, I'm okay with Fallout 76. Since I'm not done with it, I'm not gonna give it a score. But as of now, a lot of time will be spent in the engineering. I'll be night. So yeah, get started. 6.5. I give it <clears throat> as of now. What do you guys think? Let me know. This is trains. Oh yeah, the gameplay you're seeing is trains. Let me. Tra train sim world long on railroad. The reason is it's easy. It's an easy thing to the master do. Master key is used to activate the. the yes, I've been on the uh, uh, direction before. of travel. Even though I'm the Boston, I live it. I use the MBTA. This unit has a combined throttle brake head. All right. <clears throat> Before powering Super up the Thursday unit, really the wanted to do to be you know, Fallout 76, but they weren't going to take my idea. They should have handled the beta much better. Let others around know that I think it should have released on um, July 7th, because 7 6, you know, kind of makes sense. Um, I think they should have done that. To unlock the doors, a key okay, so the beta should have gone from there. To, to late August, right? But when I mean late August, I mean the 30th. So the players have a ton of time to play. Um, and, you know, really, like, give it, like, a proper beta and stress test. And then the, then the release... Should have maybe been in May. And instead of announcing it at E3, I would have. They would. I would have announced. Actually, nah. I think announcing it at E3 is right because you know the beta. Then then it would come out later. Maybe May. May second. I say May second, right? Because, you know, I haven't encountered too many bugs, but, you know, I have encountered the bugs. The to and for a $60 AAA game with a studio like Bethesda, you know, it's unacceptable. Like, like, if I was making a game, for example, yeah, I expected to have that many bugs, considering I, know sh I don't know shit about game developing. Wait, yeah, bro, like, I fucking... I think I know more about algebra than, than game making, and I I do not pay attention in school. Like like half of the time I'm in the bathroom, you know, using my phone or or, try, or making a mess because the soap they use in the um, school bathrooms I'm at and that it makes a crap load of bubbles. So like I'm I want to have like a bubble fight with with some kids like a soapy paper nap paper napkin fight or just paper nap wet paper napkin fight. Or slap boxing, I don't know. Or boxing, yeah, whatever. And uh, stop stalling. Um. So yeah, that's what they should have handled Fallout 76. But I think instead of Fallout 76, right? They should have, they should have done a single player DLC for Fallout 4, or. Make that like a separate like add-on where it's you know it's a separate disc for you know just so it runs smoother, but it would still be a part of Fallout 4, right? With Nate and Nora, 
you know, you'd have that like soldier of war story to really go over what happened. And then I would have also had a multiplayer multiplayer version of Fallout 4, which was which would be faction based. It would have, stopping so, at Country Life Press, a so it would have all line, factions that players could join at the beginning, and they could, you know, switch. We're on our final approach and to Country Life It would be role playing, so they'd be able to betray their faction and then switch to perform a comfortable stop. So the, the factions would be the Institute, the Brotherhood of Steel. The Minutemen. Mark, like before, open the doors to allow passenger boarding to commence. Minutemen, the railroad. Oh, yeah. Look at the good guys. Hold on. I have to make this bad joke. If it would let me, that would be nice. You know what? Let me just do it. We just slip. This doesn't even look like a key. So you'll be able to join the Minutemen Raiders, the Gunners. Yeah, the Raiders and, and Gunners as well. Yeah, guys, since I mentioned Railroad, look. Look, guys, Railroad. <laughs> I'm really sorry. Yeah, and this is the easiest gameplay I could, you know, give you. This is way too clean for the LIR. If you've ever, if you've ever been on it, the trains aren't that clean. Even though, again, I had a good experience when I was on it. Maybe you know, New Yorkers know better. Now, take what you've learned and put it into practice. Complete the next stop at Garden City on your own. So yeah, it would be a faction, like you'd be dukesing it out, right? You'd have building, um... You'd have... You'd have building, um... So I guess... Alright, so... You'd have building, you know, like PvP... Yeah, it would be... A faction game. Alright, so now let me clean out the factions I think should work, right? So the Institute... You're a Generation 3 Courser. You're, you're a Generation 3 Courser unit. I just repeated myself. Right? And the Institute, like, 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 Father will give you missions or other institutions. And while you know you can fool around in the Institute, right? You, you know, helping construct. Because there is a new portion. So this takes place about a year before Fallout. No, wait, instead of the Brotherhood, it takes place in between the, um, the period of, um, like, when the Brotherhood arrives, but and before the Soul Survivor reaches Sean. Oh, yeah, I just spoiled Fallout 4. It's a three-year-old game. If you don't play it, then go fuck yourself. All right, on a less aggressive note, um, so, yeah, and you, you'd, you can help out, like, doing miscellaneous tax, tasks in the Institute or go hunting. And if you don't want to be disturbed, it would be it'd work a little bit like passive mode. Except again, it would have like some restrictions. Like if you kill somebody, where like, you can't go in passive mode for five minutes. Like it would be called like neutral mode or something. Just put a, an original twist on it. Um. Yeah, you could, and you could, and then also while you're outside, right, you could help. If you see any institute patrols, you could help them out. But for the Brotherhood, they're the exact. It's about Brotherhood. So, you know, like if you like, if you like, so the institute. You're, you're, you're all right. So now let me about the team play, right? The railroad. It's more for the people that you know, like doing, like doing stuff alone. The Brotherhood. 
they they stick together. So if you like playing with friends and you have you know a lot of friends, you should choose the better. In the institute, it's a mix of both. And then the Minutemen, then the Raiders, you're you know you're a loner. Oh, wait, the railroad, um, you're a stealth agent, usually two in a pair, so if you don't have that many friends, the railroad's for you. And then, um, then the gunners, then the gunners, it's, um, a four per P. It's, you know, if you have, if you have a medium amount of friends... It, the gunners will be for everybody. So, yeah, you stick together, but you can also play alone. So, the goal of the Brotherhood, right, you'll be, you could be doing, you could be doing tasks for the higher-ups, miscellaneous tasks, you should be, you could be hunting simps and feral ghouls That's the and ghouls. A manual can also be obtained that provides more detail about the full functionality of this train. She could um do that. Mm. I'm I'm gonna do it in the Amtrak one. I'll do the railroad one. Rushi Nord. All right, sorry. Um. And then the railroad. Your objective is there will be um. Oh yeah, for the institute. Also, the coursers. If you notice, whenever I, this will be like a random thing, right? There'll be synths that escape, and as a courser on the institute, you have to try to hunt them down. While the railroad, you have to try to find them and help them. While the Brotherhood, so that's like one, this is one thing for the three big factions. While the Brotherhood has to destroy the synth, then the Raiders and Gunners capture them for spare parts. Will the Minutemen, will the Minutemen try to, will the Minutemen, um, will the Minutemen, will the Minutemen, god damn it. It is while the Minutemen try to, like, supply them. I'm getting kind of distracted. Uh, what I think is the gunners, they would use it. So for the raiders, they'd use it for scrap metal in their um, armor while the raid, while the, you know, in their weapons. While the raiders would use it for building up, you know, their forts. No, don't. If, if anyone makes a Fortnite joke in the comment, I genuinely mean this. Jump, go die in a fire. Alright, well, let's me note. Um, Sorry, uh... So yeah, that would be like one event, an escape, an escape sin. Then there would be faction-based um, events, such as the Institute, such as the Institute, a synth is being captured, and the rate, so the rate, right, would be captured by, I guess, I guess like an un, like a not an NPC faction. There would be human NPCs, and then the minute, so, and then for the Brotherhood, it would be, you know, like, like we found some pre-war tech, go get it.
sorry, sorry. And then the Minutemen, you know, settlement is being attacked. Then the railroad, um, escorting a synth, escorting a, um, a synth to the memory den, while there's a risk of being attacked by Institute coursers. Just quit. I don't want to suck the drain. Um, what was all I was gonna say? Um, see, that would be my it would be um faction based. So, let me know what you guys think. You think it should be faction based, like how I described it, where there's events and you know, there's and then as for the like the and there's no really real storyline. And then for PvP combat, right, you'd just be exploring and then you wander into another enemy player of an enemy faction. You could choose to, uh, you could um, either attack them or or betray your faction for theirs, and vice versa, where they could attack you and then you'd fight back. For the brother, they could call him Verde, a Verde assault team, be a Verdebird, Verdes. For the institute, the, you could call in some synths, the railroad, you could have some agents appear out of nowhere, and then the Minutemen, the nearby settlements will send, will send some salt. Send some more ears. I've never been to Atlantic Terminal. Yeah, I already did one. Alright, um... So that's how PvP will work, and there would be a... And and you also there's a third option you don't attack and you just ignore each other. And yes, you could. There's obviously the saluting. If you want me to do a more in depth of my multiplayer Fallout 4, let me know. Meanwhile, Bethesda is developing a pre-war DLC. So how I would set that up is it starts off with Nate and Nora, you know, their backstory, right? You know, and then Nate getting Nora pregnant. I bet some pervert would really develop, you know, it, showing it, showing the magic, showing the magic happen. <laughs> um, you want some pervert? Ay, ay, ay. Um, So it, it would start out with that, then, you know, so it starts off peaceful, right? Then Nate decides to join the military, or I guess you can name him whatever you want, so I'm just gonna use Nate and Nora, but it would let you, like, like, it would start off, right, you know, them being born, with, I guess their parents being like, it's a boy, what should we name him, honey, or, you know, pop, what the, f whatever, um, then you choose your name. And the default is Nate and Nora, then it shows Nora. Then it kind of shows their backstory, such as their, you know, life as a kid, teenager, and then them meeting each other and getting married. Then... But at their wedding, you can, you, you can make some decisions. Well, then I guess you could, like, choose, you could, like, choose, you know, like, some, some things, such as how, who proposes to who and how. Like, it could be, like, Nate proposed to Nora, Nora proposed to Nate. And should it be at the park, home, restaurant, or, or lake? I guess this would be at, like, the glowing sea. You know, because, like, you get to explore that area. Um. So, I guess it would be, or at the park. Because, you know, according to them, according to, the, according to Amnora, they got pregnant at a park. 
Yo, I bet. Imagine if some like t if, like some Boston teenagers like like a picture play be me, even though I'm more of a suburban boy. Cause I'm your stereotypical suburban white boy. <laughs> um. Yeah, you know. And then, then after that, like the main story really begins, right? Where you start, you know, where you're saying goodbye to Nora, you get the tutorial, so just learn all the controls, right? While well, Nate is driving to be, you know, to his training, right? As a soldier, you're driving to um, the law firm, firm, you know, where Nora works. It'll, it'll look a little bit like GTA 5 in the beginning and end stages. So then eventually Nate goes, you know, goes to goes to Alaska and fights, where you occasionally get to see Nora, and then, you know, in, during those dialogue options, you can, you can choose what to say. But it's mainly focused on Nate and the war. And what he did. So you get, you know, you get to fight in battles as you level up, you get, you get better weapons, like, you, you know, instead of, like, paying for it, like, it's all requisitioned to you, and you get power armor eventually, and then at the end, you know, your demo says, you serve your tour, but, you need a man like you, would you like to stay? Then it would, like, say, like, staying, which means you'll never be able to return to, to Massachusetts, which means you'll, which means you'll inevitably die here. Obviously, will be the canon ending. <laughs> Lol. Um. You know, it'll be like you know, no, you can't play as Nora, and you'll stay in combat forever. And you know, you'll be here. You know, you'll be on the battlefield helping out the men. Then the second option. Is you get you get to return to Massachusetts, and then live with your wife and newborn son, and infant son Sean. And then yeah, it leaves you off there. And the story ends off a month before the Great War happened in September. And yeah, that's the. You'll, you'll in this you'll be able to drive vehicles. Um, you'll fly fly aircraft. See the um the pre-war planes, which would be a beauty to see, and explore pre-war Massachusetts, such as the glowing sea, before you know became a fucking irradiated hellhole. You know, like not uninhabitable, not Earth. And yeah, you get to see. Sean and learn about Nate and Nora before the war, and then it'll explain, you know, it'll be like... And then, yeah, it'll be the end game. Yeah, you'll have some quests such as, you know, different jobs you can get, right? Even though the canon ending would be you don't get a job, but after that, like, yeah, whatever you do isn't really canon. Um, so yeah, it leaves you at that. You either get to stay in war forever or, you know, or forever by, you know, another month until you're never really blowing, you're never really blowing to bits. And I guess Nora and Sean don't survive because Nate wasn't there. Maybe, maybe they do. And yeah, it leaves you off with that. So it leaves you off. You get tasty now. Meanwhile, at Obsidian, because yes, I want I want West Virginia. Hey. They're developing Fallout Appalachia instead of 76. Because like I made a joke when I first heard about like what are they gonna do? Like, if Fallout keeps going on forever and ever, what do they do when they get to their 76 game? Hey. Yeah, they're gonna be kind of fucked. 
you know that I'll be in my 2080 and I'll fucking be an 80 year old man, you know, with heart problems or some shit. I don't know. Like, I definitely won't be a fucking. You know, I'll definitely still be a teenager. Actually, I might still be gaining. Like, who knows? Like, that might be the thing where. Like, you know, you game until you're in your 80s, cause my grandmother barely knows how to work her phone, and she's in her 70s. Um, 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 Wait, yeah. Uh, so they're developing a um, single-player West Virginia, right, which has human NPCs, and also you, you know, you get to see some of, you get to see. So West Virginia before, like it, you know, there's some cutscenes, right? And you, the protagonist, are born. Like it shows your protagonist being born, right? And what's his name? Your facial design. And I guess you, you'll, I guess like for the first, you get to be the cab driver, it takes you home from the hospital. Then a few days later. Right, you. Then a few weeks later, your parents are um, on are rushing on the bus to, to Vault 76. And then hold on. Then as they enter, they see the they see the nukes drop. And then the vault door shuts as you run in. But as you run in, I actually want to change it a little bit. So you're a five-year-old boy when the Great War happens, right? So as you run into the the vault, you trip and scrape your knee, like ow! And then behind you, the nukes go off, the bombs fall. Then your parents, you know, like, grab you in as the door shuts. That's an intense moment. And then you guys, you know, then you feel the shot. Then there's a little shock. I mean, so as you trip, you see the shock wave coming. You're like, oh, no, 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 and you freak out. So the game will make it seem like much longer than it actually is. Then it shows you going up, like Fallout 3, in Vault 76, where you know you have your party, your first pit boy, and you get to physically see the overseer and talk to her now via holotapes. Then eventually on Reclamation Day, right, you do some partying, and then when you wake up, you're leaving with all the residents together. Except I would have it when Vault 76 was actually supposed to open, which was in 2198, I think. It's 20 years after the Great... No, yeah, 21... Hold on, let me do that. So, 20... No, 2197. Um, math fail. Rain fart. Um. Yep, yep. <clears throat> and then, then you and the residents explore. You, you being like you know the most curious one. Oh, yeah. Also, in the beginning, you get to choose your stats. You get to choose your stats. And I guess it'll be like Fallout Three. Like, let's see what what he looks like when he's older. Like that. Except it's three more. So, like, your character, like, goes on, like, you know, like, holy crap, you know, I was, like, a little kid, I remember this, because you were five. So, your character's 35. Yeah, it would be right. Actually, I could make him 
No, I can make him 25. Yeah, that's better. 25. Make him or her 25. I'll do that because, you know, you know, I'll be like, you know, like how, like, how much it's changed. And then, yes, you get, you know, like, like, you know, like the ogres here being shocked because you, know, you're, you have to find, like, she went out. Like, you want to try to talk to her, like, one last time. Actually, nah. I don't, I, I th I'm not really sure of the story. So, yeah, it would be like a single player Fallout 76, like, explain, like, you know. Also, it wouldn't be using the same engine as Fallout 4. Like, it would look like this, for example, Train Simulator, which, yeah, I know this is a bit clean, a bit clean from Long Island Railroad. Maybe when the, these were new, it would probably look like this. I don't know, it was in 2002. I wasn't even born until 2004. I'm 14 now. So I think maybe this story be like, you know, like, really trying to rebuild. And yes, you'll, you know, it will take you from area to area. And at the ending, there's no Brotherhood of Steel, even though there's a loose reference of, of a Brotherhood of Steel, right? So, like, um, you could encounter these, these Brothers of Ghouls, which, you know, like, obsessed with steel, right? They're like the stealers of the way, they're like, you know, the blacksmiths of the wasteland. And like one, and I guess I like, like I guess you know another vault resident you run into as well. You know, it's like, well, what are these guys? Like a Brotherhood of Steel, because like that's that's all they ever talk about. So they're really obsessed with steel, right? Making a loose reference to the Brotherhood of Steel. Yeah, saying their name, but accidentally. Miniola. Simpsons made fun of Miniola because it was a character. Like, and I remember as a little girl in Miniola. <laughs> Sorry, um. So yeah, they can make, you know, that's how they, and then at the end, right, eventually, yes, you'll have the nukes. So, you, you know, you look, so eventually, right, you go to the Greenbrier Resort, you eventually make your way up after, you know, like, cause like, they're, you know, it's mostly ghouls you interact with, saying like, in that Greenbrier, they won't let us in, maybe they'll let you in, we can try to get in, we need resources from from them only to turn out that but you know, like they need help because it's the enclave so they're like you know we need to get in like you know can you help us we try to make contact with them but our technology isn't that good and since you know it's since the green bar is very secluded right it's it's like the teleporting device in the institute so after building you know hold on <clears throat> a, a radio that can get in you know that can send in like a, 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 a that can send in a proper you know sorry um I'm really distracted I don't know why um that sends in a, a transmission right they open up their door only to find out it's the enclave, but so at first you know like you're like shit, like <clears throat> it's the government, but only to turn out they're good. It's a good version of the enclave. They're not evil. They're good. They were like, well, we're so you know they're, they're explaining how you know like to. A, to prevent hacking, you know, from foreign powers, right? And prevent any tracking. 
and it regenerated a field that can let anything transmit through. They explain. So then, <clears throat> in the end game, you can either betray them because there's a faction. There's another faction, right, called the Responders, which are skeptical of them. So, and it turn, right, they're helping the Wasteland only for their own gain, so they can rule it as a as a new, you know, dictatorship. Because they, in their philosophy, they realize, you know, this is this, this, game is, this train isn't working. It is very long, so I'm just gonna fuck around with it. Um. <clears throat> when you turn out the, the responders, right, want to make an oppressive, want to make an oppressive government because, because they feel that democracy failed, right? So they were trying to gain the support of the wasteland, right? They were tricking them. They were only tricking them. And yeah, the, and the responders, all the firefighters they contained, at first, it, it was, and they explained their history, how they, yeah, at first we were started by all the good guys, but, you know, us, some of us realized that being, being goody two-shoes isn't going to work, so, they tried to gain as much resources and manpower as possible, by deceiving most of the wastelanders, think they're good, when they're bad. So then, then you can choose to join the responders if you agree with them, or the Enclave, the good Enclave. Like, they have the same name, but their message is different, because their communication got fucked up. So they thought, you know, it means making a better government, because in the 20 years, right, they've been planning how to make a better, more cooperative government that wouldn't fall into such disrepair. With, you know, that wouldn't end up in nuclear war, such as, like, like, banning any, the sales of, like, of, you know, weapons and, like, nukes. Nope. Oh, are, they don't make those either. And they're dedicated to helping. So they dukes it out, right? Those are two big factions, right? The, the responders might seem weak, but since they have, since the wasteland, you know, is, is more with them considering they have deceived them, they have, they have the manpower, right? So it's manpower versus quality. The Enclave has quality, you know, armor. They have power, they have, they have the um they have exo they have the um on play power armor you saw in Fallout New Vegas and two. They have that power armor. Along with some XO one. Supply some new soldiers. That's you know, for training. Training operations. Yeah, I get it guys. Training. Sorry. If I just rot me if I just make your brain says rot, I kind of apologize. I do apologize. That's why. So there are two smaller factions. One are called, I guess, one. Mm -hmm. One is called the um. The free. What is it called the um, the free, the lawless, right? Which they're they're like the relevant amendment. They're smaller. They believe they believe in no laws. How there shouldn't be a government. How you know they fucked up the world in the first place. Again, it's mostly consists of intelligent ghouls and and yeah, they're. And any intelligent super mutants that have made their way over. Actually, that would, that would be more inconsistent. Then the other one would be called the um, 
from the other faction, right? They're dedicated to... What you doing? I'm trying to think, sorry. They're dedicated to, um... <laughs> Oh. Uh. Right. Sorry, like they're dedicated to um they're called the the movers. They're dedicated to finding like the enclave called they they wanna find a new a new world to inhabit except instead of a new planet they want to build it they want to build a spaceship and live in that that's what I meant by a new world so I dedicated to that But they, but they believe in the Egyptian. But they believe in a Egyptian democracy hybrid, right, where they should l elect their officials and slaves. So, like the most hated should be the slaves, while the most loved should be the um, should be the you know rulers. Except they're not religious. They're you know, except unlike them, they're not. Look, they're not religious. No offense to religion. So you and then eventually the factions end up duking it out. You can join either of those. If the Enclave wins. You know, they begin setting up the Appalachian government, re rebuilding it. Attempting to rebuild it. If you choose the, um, the movers, you eventually, you event eventually you're underway for going into space. Because you've gained the resources and the and the manpower necessary after fighting it out with the faction. Because you need the enclave's resources to do it. And then um, <clears throat> after the lawless, if they win, well, it just remains the same. There's no rules, and you get to do whatever you, whatever you want. Then for the responders, it's an oppressive government. Where there's, you know, where everybody stays in check. <clears throat> but come the events of Fallout 4, right, if the Enclave wins, their, eventually their government, um, let me think. They're wiped out by... No, not the Institute, um, the Enclave. So what the Enclave does is, is they, was right, it's a successful government, but as the Enclave moves for, for those 30 years that they remained underground, they were secretly poisoning their water supply, like, or like poisoning the, you know, the, the government. So eventually it collapsed and you have the um, movers win, eventually they move into space. Only to be captured by the Zaytans. As for um, the Lawless, nothing much happens. And then the responders, their government remains, but it it's slowly annexed by, but but do the super, but <clears throat> do they um rogue brother? Outcast 
um, division and Brotherhood of Steel division that that bumped into each other and were captured by them. But it was weakened because they and the <clears throat> they were they gained support and these outcasts and um, Brotherhood um, soldiers, which you know got lost, eventually made their way to West Virginia. West Virginia. Um, eventually, you know, <clears throat> they met up and recaptured and fought their way out. They're a bit. The um, responders were a bit like Caesar's legions. And plot twist for the response. Oh right, I said you know the fight. They were they were originally all firefighters. They were eventually all wiped out. See, so yeah, that would be. And it out, yeah, as I said, I call it Fallout Appalachia. And then for Fallout, the Fallout um, 4 pre war DLC, I guess it would be, you know, the Ruth um, Run Smoother would be on a separate disc along with the multiplayer. Like, that would be on one thing. Well, those would just be on two separate discs. Yeah, it would be kind of annoying, but it would, they would ultimately run smoother. And also, Bethesda would, an Obsidian, you know, I, they, they, well, they can keep it in the oven as long as necessary, right? So it's not buggy. Um, and then, and then for Fallout 4's DLC, you know, two DLCs, it, that's kept in good condition. You know, they, they, they don't half bake it. And then for the beta, as I said, that would, that would work over the summer. So yeah, that's what I, I would have done instead of, you know, with. That's what Bethesda should have done, in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think. I'm sorry this is late as fuck. Um, when I finish Fallout 76, I'll, you know, give my opinions on it. I'm kind of enjoying it, but, you know, I've been playing this and other games. Alright, so guys, this is Luke Ryan 9 setting out. I'll see you in the next boot. I really gotta get to bed. Bye-bye.